<laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Yo, what's good guys? It's Riley. Welcome back to another video. Today I got the M82, otherwise known as the Barrett 50 Cal class setup video. The best sniping class on Cold War for this gun. So let's hop right into it. So before we get into the attachments on the snipers, I just want to go over my lethal tactical perks and whatnot. So for my tactical, I like to run the stim shot just to be able to heal up quickly. The tomahawk, if I miss a shot or whatever, I can throw the tomahawk, hopefully kill the guy. And my field upgrade, I like to run Sam Turret. And that's just because I play a lot of 12v12 um, combined arms. The Sam Turret's really good for taking out UAVs, counter UAVs, and other air support. For my perks, I like to run Flak Jacket and Tactical Mask just because the stuns and explosives on this game, especially in 12v12, are absolutely crazy. And for my third perk, I am running Gung Ho. This is a sniper swap class, so you're going to be swapping between your snipers and using Gung Ho will allow you to swap weapons quicker. It allows you to slide quicker. You can reload while sprinting. So all around, if you're playing aggressive sniping, Gung Ho is the perfect perk. All right, so let's hop right into the attachments on the Barrett. So for the barrel, guys, I'm running the 22.6 inch Tiger Team. This gives us everything in relation to damage as well as a nice fire rate increase. And for the body, we got the Tiger Team Spotlight. And as you guys saw in those intro clips, the enemies had a little red circle above their heads. And that is because of the Tiger Team Spotlight. It makes enemies a lot easier to see on the map. Sometimes on this game, I feel like with the terrain and stuff, I have a hard time spotting spotting enemies for the mag i run the standard seven round mag not the speed mag or anything and that is because you lose ads speed when you run the seven round speed mag so i just stick to the normal seven round for the handle i use the serpent wrap previously i was using the airborne elastic wrap because of the plus two ads increase but i later realized that that two percent really means nothing because of the con of the sprint to fire time so if you can't get your gun up quick there's no sense of having that plus two ads speed increase so Serpent wraps the way to go guys you will really notice a difference in game when you make this switch I just made this switch recently and it's a lot nicer than the airborne elastic wrap And lastly for the stock we got the cqb pad this gives us plus 30 sprint to fire time You could run the raider pad you get that plus 30 as well as well as a 40% aim walking movement speed But you lose 15% hip fire accuracy and I feel like no scopes already rarely hit in this game So I don't want to sacrifice any more hip fire accuracy and I also don't spend a lot of time in my scope walking, so that plus 40 aim walking movement speed does virtually nothing for me, so I just stick to the CQB pad. And on this swap class in particular, I am running the Tundra as my secondary sniper, and the attachments are completely identical. I got the 28.2 inch Tiger Team barrel on the Tundra, Tiger Team spotlight, 7 round mag, serpent wrap, and the marathon stock it has a different name on the tundra it is the same thing as the cqb pad it's just called the marathon stock so yeah guys that's going to be it for the class setup portion of the video make sure you leave a like on the video at any period of time if you did enjoy it and if you are new feel free to subscribe man we're on the road to a thousand subscribers we're almost halfway there at 500 and we got tons of cold war content on the way just like this so subscribe if you're into that enjoy the gameplay and i will see you guys in my next video take care yo what's good boys it is riley and i'm coming at you again today with a, another video this video is going to be on the barrett as you could tell i give you guys the class setup the loadout i'm going to be running in this video right before this gameplay so 
this is the class setup I'm using. I haven't really used the Barret on this game, so I don't know how this is going to go. But hopefully I can smack out something for you guys, whether it's a clip, a banger, a streak, whatever. So hopefully I can hit something this game. We got Miami, so that's always good. Yeah, playing some combined arms. I feel like it's a lot better with the Barret. 6v6 with the Barret is pretty rough. Shout out to anyone who grinds 6v6 and uses the Barret, man. It is not easy. Got him. First kill. Let's go. Oh, shit. Okay, we're on a five kill streak here. I'm going to back up. Ah. Yeah, as you guys probably know, the Barrett is by far the worst sniper rifle in this game. And I want to bring out a class setup for you guys to make it a bit easier for you if you are choosing to use the Barrett. Oh, here we go. There's two. Where's the third? Got him. Any more here? One more. Oh. I missed. I'm trash. Yeah, the Barrett's pretty weird on this game. It scopes in really slow, which I would be fine with, but it doesn't have a whole lot of damage, which is where I see a bit of a problem. Because then it, at that point, it just makes it a worse sniper. If it scopes in slow and has the same damage as the rest of the snipers. Ooh. Took his lid off. Get the kid looking at me. Look here. Ooh, that should have been a collat. No. That could have been an opportunity there if, if some collats lined up. Okay, zone's back at mid. They should be over here. One. I don't know where those guys are going. Not near the point, that's for sure. Oh, here we go. One more. No! I got killed off the five on. Oh my god, guys. Oh, I'm actually so upset. But it's good, it's good. This is my first game using the Barret, and I came that close to hitting a banger. So I'm not that upset, but I'm also upset at the same time. Wow, man. I saw all those red dots. I thought I was about to go absolutely sicko mode. It's all good. It's all good, guys. Don't worry. I wonder if that was a point stack now that I'm thinking about it. Because those kills are pretty quick. This kid over here. Got him. Got him. Got him. Swap. Still here. I don't know if that shadow play is going to catch it because I friggin' forgot. So, that sucks. One. Let me reload. I hear a guy with a thumper on the point. Got him. 30 and 9 right now. I'm actually absolutely eating with the Barret. I'm telling you guys, the Barret in 12v12 is not bad. They got a chopper gunner. I got air support. Easy. Oh, wow. He is horrible. I just started grinding for today's video and I don't even know what was in the intro because that's obviously going to be hit in the future. So if you see an absolutely stupid clip in the intro, that means I hit something crazy because right now there's not a lot going on other than that quad feed. Come on, man. That kid ran weird. I actually like the Barret right now. Like, the shot is feeling good with it, so... People are saying it's, like, the worst sniper to ever drop in COD and stuff. I feel like people... They also probably only used it in 6v6, which would be completely understandable, because it would probably be very tough. Okay. Ooh. That was a quad feed. It was on. I'm not sure if that was a five on. But, guys, we're kind of popping off right now. I'm 52 and 19. And I'm getting so many opportunities. That was nice, whatever that was. It was probably a quad feed times two. I got the quad feed medal, so I know a quad feed wasn't split. At least one of them. I think the first one was split, though. Okay. 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 No scope. Just imagine, just imagine that hit. This lobby's like insane right now. This is good. Good energy right here. Might be able to drop this video sooner than I thought at this pace. 
They're all gonna be here. I missed like a rat. Okay, that was a clad. I thought it was a triple. Every time I hit a clad in this game, I think it's a triple. I don't know what it is. Just because of the how loud the hit marker sound is. How does that no scope miss? No scope's never hit in this game. I'm telling you guys. I hate playing like this, but sometimes you have to. Oh, that was a cool little streak. Okay. Okay. Well, we won. There we go. 96 and 34 that game, and I had so many opportunities. That was nuts. What's this? Oh, this was at the end. This Barrett man. Don't sleep on it, people. Let's go.